19 codes. One thing I'm gonna say is if you're doing this, just disconnect your battery so you're not gonna have 19 codes like I did. And your whole transmission is just not gonna feel right. So if you don't wanna go through that, definitely just reset or I mean, just unplug your battery while you're doing this because when you're unplugging the sensor for the gearing, it's just gonna throw off all the readings and you're gonna have a hard time trying to fix all of it. So other than that, I'm trying to hit 1K by uh, 2025 by the end of the year. So if you like this video, if you're new here, for you returning and you're not subbed, make sure to like and subscribe and thank you guys. I've already taken it out because it's pretty hard to do. You're just gonna wanna put it into accessories mode shift it into neutral which right now i don't think anything registered because it's not plugged in but when you get it to neutral you'll have a lot more room to hate this car play always plays out when i first uh, start the car but um you're gonna shift it to neutral to get it to the middle this bp would stop that'd be nice and then there we go and you're gonna take something i have this pry tool and you're gonna get it underneath i found this is the best spot right here and just pry it up and you'll get this back half up and then go off to the side right here and pop it out and there will be a clip right here and a clip right there that you're gonna get out once you get that out you have this one plug that plugs in for your um ears and then what I did, it was pretty hard to just pull it out. So I took this little, you can pretty much, you could use a flathead or something. And just push along this to pull that piece out. And now, if you look, if I put it into like a drive or something. Uh, I already took one of them out, but there's a second one to unscrew this to get this whole thing out. Which after this, I think you're gonna twist this or just pull it out. But once I get that screw undone, um, I'll try and figure out how to get this off and then let you guys know. So I'll be back to that. So I got the two screws off, so now it can actually come off. But what I'm gonna do is so I can still turn the car off before I unplug this and actually take the key out is I'm gonna put it into park and then move this over and right there it's kind of hard at the lighting there we go this thing you're gonna want to get this out so just push on here it's kind of hard to do with one hand all right so i got that out got that unplugged and then it's a little thing holding the cords in there you go pop that out and now i should be able to Pull this right out. There we go. So, got that out. And now, oh, it's all greasy. Okay, don't touch that. So, I've been trying to figure out how to get this thing apart, and I figured it out. It's held on by a zip tie. Once I clip that off or like cut it off or something, I also need to get this piece out and then be able to measure. How much i need of this but it looks like right here what i'm gonna do is take something like this and push it like this and then pull up and you're gonna do it on this one 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 and that one just all around and you'll be able to pull it off and then get this thing out so I'm gonna get this off and then show you guys what to do after that with the fabric. Luckily, you'll be able to reverse this and put this back on if you want to. So I'm trying to get as much of this adhesive from before as I can off with this. I'm kind of just scraping the surface. You can't really, I don't know if you can really tell, but the right, I've gotten a lot of it off. It's a lot smoother now. And then this side, I need to get but once all that's flattened down, hopefully, the um, I got the adhesive spray. And hopefully that will actually hold it on better. So I got it on. 
I can't really tell you guys the sizing because I didn't know myself and it might be too short, but I have extra fabric to redo this if I need to. But I kind of just traced it over this size to use for here, but you're gonna probably need some extra compared to this size. And my car died, battery died, because I was in accessories mode for too long. But you just put it back on like normally, put that screw, there's two, but I kind of dropped one inside of there. So I'll get that one. Um, also around here, I kind of just trimmed everything down so it doesn't puck out the sides. It's pretty simple to do. It takes a little bit of time, but I have this thing plugged in. It's been four days since everything previous has been recorded. Yes, I'm wearing the same pants. They have been washed, don't worry. Don't worry, they, they've been washed. Um, but it came out pretty good. It's pulling on it pretty hard. It's good all around. But when I do pull this back into uh, sports mode, um, drive is good, but sports mode, it gets a little bit tight. So if I redo this, I'm gonna add another inch probably onto this sizing. So I'll pretty much just lay the fabric out, cut the same thing, same whole size, except have the um, an extra inch on that side. And what I'm gonna do in the future, which I'll be making a video of that soon, is call me Rice, I don't care. It's, it's a base model focus. It's not trying to be fast or anything. I'm just trying to make it look good until I can afford a different car or truck um but right here all this um chrome piece for real carbon fiber i'm not spending six seven hundred dollars it's not worth it but i'm gonna be wrapping all of this in carbon fiber and then my friend gave me this shift knob that i'll put right here and there's a little adapter so whenever you push down on this you can change gears only problem is my burbles are mainly with this in lower gears and rpms so i'm gonna have to figure out a way to reprogram this and i don't use my um uh my cruise control so i can probably reprogram it somehow rewire it into the cruise control buttons which would be nice to have because i could just you know just do that to shift up and down because i'll be missing that but other than that thank you for watching came out great love to see what your guys looks like and thank you see you in the next video